I'm John Agar, I'm the engineering manager for Morgan Sindel. I've worked on the grade separation since we started about 2016. The scheme is to provide more capacity on the East Coast Main Line, so when the scheme is finished there will be an extra two train paths an hour passing along the East Coast Main Line and very many more freight train paths will be provided. Where we are in the world, the railway corridor is quite narrow and quite constrained by adjacent buildings and adjacent boundaries. And one of the things we had to do was to divert a river, reinforce the river with a new structure and we built the railway on top of it and that created us some space to be able to widen the existing railway lines to build the new railway line between the outside the lines that we've created. We've also had to divert two lines over 800 metres or so to physically give us a space to, to build what we're building. And there were several schemes that were available to develop. We've gone with this one for a number of reasons. Firstly, it's more secure to be built in the nine-day blockade. The idea is to build the whole box offline and then jack it into position in that, in that blockade. It gives the client a very robust structure, no joints, no, no bearings, nothing to maintain in the future. So it's a very strong structure when it's installed. And we can build the whole structure before we start. So the, all the intention then is to build in the nine-day blockade, dig and push as we go. Uh, the solution we came up with was a cheaper solution than the alternative that we had on, on the table. At the front of the box there are two cutters, which as we push the box forward, they will cut and just cleave off the, the last of the clay excavation and give us a very neat cut to push the box into. The box is always curved on this scheme. The reason for that is it's a very long box and the railway that's going inside it is curved. And to have done a, a straight box would have been a much wider profile for the box. So as part of the scheme, we've had to install two guide tunnels underneath the East Coast Main Line. They're about seven metres deep. They're also on a 750 metre curve. And so the next stage then is to fit them with the concrete and foundation and guide walls. And as we dig and push the box, we'll expose the top of the tunnels as we move the box. That will uncover the guide path just in front of the excavation as we go. And we'll be able to push around the curve of the box guided by the, the guide tunnels. We've now finished the TBMs, they've gone away and we're now preparing the fit out. I think this is probably one of several uh, dive under type constructions that are going to be installed over the, the next 10, 15 years.